thank you to Beaver Bitcoin for sponsoring this channel, helping us grow our family, and helping us grow our savings. If you want to learn more about them, please check them out. You can support us by supporting them. Down below in the description, there's a link. This is Beaver Bitcoin. Check them out. It's super easy to use. It's for Canadians to buy Bitcoin. Morning, everybody. Oh, would you look at this? Now this light's not working beneath here either. So I got one halo out. I got that running light out. And this side's doing just fine. So there's a loose wire in here somewhere. Because these wires run off the same power as those. And if that's on, and this isn't, that means there's a disconnect in there somewhere. So I've got to quickly run to Thief River Falls today. It's a quick run two hours south and three hours back because I have to come back to a different border crossing. I'm going to quickly fix these lights up and get the truck out of here because our uh, overhead door guy is coming to fix this cable that broke yesterday. Just randomly as I was closing the door. He's coming to fix that. I'm still able to get this door open just carefully. The cable on that side still works just fine. Uh, just drags on this side a little bit without that, but I'm, I am able to get my truck out of here at least, so that's good. And by the time I get back tonight, it'll all be fixed. Okay, the door is fixed. Done. I all got done before I even left, so we're just getting going now. About 10.30, got to run to the yard, grab an empty step deck. I'm gonna pull that down at Thief River. Come back up. It's about two hours down, three hours up, plus time to tie it down and take my straps off when I get back. Six hours altogether, 10, 30, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 30. Should be back there, 4, 30, 5 o'clock. Back here, 5, 30, home by 6, 30, 7 o'clock. That's a whole day again. All right. You know what I'm gonna say next, right? We're in a rush. We gotta get going. Got our step deck. One oh seven. We're gonna be friends today. All right, whether you like it or not. Got all my lights fixed as well. I figured out what was wrong with my tail lights because they were still flickering a little bit. There was a loose connection in one of the plugs that I was able to fix, so those are good to go. We also got these working. There was two corroded wires, one behind here and one behind this light. I had to take the light out to fix it. Got those working as well. Got to replace one of those up there as well, but they uh, it's not as noticeable because most of the light is still working. But I'll have to replace it soon. Uh, uh, so, we got a lot of things done this morning. Well, that garage door got fixed. Headlight got fixed. Taillights got fixed. We got our trailer. We're going to go grab a load, get back here, and an update on the whole IBM process. So, uh, when Britt went in for the egg retrieval, they were able to get six eggs. Uh, three of them made it through the night. Three of them didn't make it. We got our second update today, which is a few days later, and those three are all dividing. The cells are all dividing as they should, and they look healthy and good. So far, we still have the three. We'll get our, another update in a couple of days. So hopefully, hopefully all three stick around. And then we'll have four to transfer. We still have one from the last time, and then if we get another three now, let's let's hope for the best. But that IVF process is, of course, very expensive, and uh, it's hard when money keeps getting devalued, and all the savings you have in your bank account from whatever years ago or a year ago isn't worth as much as it is today. That's why I sort of sort of started looking into Bitcoin and crypto a little bit, which segues great into today's sponsor. We have a sponsor on today's video. I'm not too sure how much you know about Bitcoin. If you're anything like me, like I was, I didn't know very much about it when I first 
heard about Bitcoin when I was approached by them. And it's a really good company, really good group of guys working there. If you already know what it is and you're already investing and you're a Canadian, Beaver Bitcoin is an awesome option to do that. They make it super simple. You can buy through e-transfer. There's no price charts. There's no exchange on the website. Its sole purpose is just to help you save in Bitcoin, just to sell you Bitcoin. I've already made my own my own account there. I've already bought Bitcoin through them. So you know it's legit and it's a great way to protect your investments from inflation. You know, the governments just keep printing more and more and more money. If you have $10,000 in the bank, it's not worth the same as $10,000 from 10 years ago. You can't buy this thing. Your purchasing power keeps getting diminished as they keep printing and printing money. Bitcoin is unique because there's only ever gonna be 21 million Bitcoins in existence. It's a deflationary currency. So without going too much more into that, go check out our sponsor, beaverbitcoin.com. Click the link down below my video, support our sponsor, and by doing so, you support us as well. Thank you to Beaver Bitcoin for sponsoring us and helping us to grow our family. We'll talk more about it in the future. You'll hear about it again on my channel very soon. For today, I just wanted to introduce you. I'm do a little tug test on my trailer here. There we go. We are ready to go. We're gonna cross through from Tolstoy, Manitoba into uh, Lancaster, Minnesota. That crossing is a non-commercial crossing, but since I'm empty right now, it doesn't matter. I can cross through there. It's just on the way back that I have to go through Pembina, North Dakota into Emerson, Manitoba. here at the gas station grab a quick coffee for myself haven't been able to have one haven't been able to find one or have one today yet so I'm looking forward to that just a quick stop I don't want to stop too much today I want to get back home
just coming in at Deep River Falls. So we're gonna try to do this as quickly as we can. I knew there was a reason I was in a rush. I thought I was just in a regular rush. No, 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 no. I'm in a, there's a storm coming rush. That's right. I wanna be home before the biggest part of it hits tonight. And when we leave on Monday, hopefully it will have passed over us by then. This is coming out of Montana. So shout out to Montana. Thank you for your weather. Deep River Falls definitely has a little bit more snow on the ground than up north. In 400 meters, turn left on 3rd Street West, US 59. Wonderful, wonderful roundabouts. Thank you, Deep River Falls, for the privilege of using roundabouts. This is our turn up here. Luckily, the wind hasn't started yet. In about an hour, it's supposed to get pretty windy. So let's get those straps thrown over our load before that happens. It should only take me a half hour in and out. As long as I don't get distracted, you know, and start checking Facebook or something. Just focus, focus, focus. slippery under there not too bad not too bad tomorrow is going to be crazy slippery and it's supposed to rain so we're getting all this snow it's going to freeze overnight and then tomorrow it's supposed to rain then that'll freeze again over the next night it's just going to be a skating rink out on the road turn left on brooks avenue south lucky for us we will be parked and I will be at home. I don't think we got any plans for tomorrow except just sitting inside and keeping warm. The weather isn't too bad, like the, the temperature isn't bad. It's minus two Celsius right now and around 30 Fahrenheit. It's not bad, it's not that cold, but that's why we get snow. That's the thing about winter time. You can either have it like really, really cold, minus 30 and no snow, or you can have it a more mild temperature like this, but then it starts snowing. Why you just, you just can't win in wintertime. slowly when you're waiting in line. Isn't that weird? Seriously, it's only been 11 minutes. I feel like I've been here like 45 minutes at least. I guess usually it goes so quickly that you don't even notice it. And then when you have to wait sometimes, suddenly you're like, oh, oh my, I can't believe I have to wait 11 minutes. It's gonna be more than that. 12 minutes now, oh boy. Oh, and the guy up at the front of the line isn't moving forward far enough. 
at the border of Emerson, Manitoba, when you're coming north, you come up to these a set of traffic lights, right? It's sort of behind these trucks right now. I can't show you from here. You have to move far enough forward so that the lights see that you're there. I'll try telling them this. Hey, driver at the front of the line here, you have to move forward a bit so the lights see that you're there and turn green. You gotta move forward a bit. Ah, the second lineup opened up now. Everybody crowded in there. You know my saying, right? It's always something. It's always something. That uh, piece that's holding up the visor there is just glued to the window with Gorilla Glue. Heavy duty, industrial strength, Gorilla Glue. That glue lasted probably, well, what's it been? A few months? It came off today. So I had to clean it all up now and re-glue it to the surface. And if it breaks off again, I'm gonna switch over to Rhino glue. See how that works. But uh, we'll let this sit here till uh, the day after tomorrow when I leave on my next trip. It should be all dried and ready to go by then. It's always something, there's always so much to do. And this door was fixed this morning as well. So we got that cable all done. So I can put everything back into this corner. I'm not gonna do it right now though, cause I'm gonna try to get here early on Monday to get this done then. Until then, like I have everything wind up down the middle there. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring that uh, zero point turn mower up to the front here. Park it at the front here because I'm gonna need it soon. Springtime's coming and we gotta bring it to the house once the grass starts growing again. So it's time to run back home. It's a quick run to Thief River Falls and back today. It went pretty well. Never hit that storm. The storm's still not here. It's eight o'clock, no, almost nine o'clock. I gotta get home. Theo's bedtime is nine o'clock. I'm trying to get there before his bedtime. So uh, again, I'm in a rush. I'll talk to you in a little bit.